Here we are again with another K-Class car in 164 scale. It's made by a brand called Doyosha. And I, I didn't get any packaging or a box. I just bought this loose. But uh, the internet tells me Doyosha made this thing. Uh, so this is a Honda Life Diva edition. So the Honda Life dates back to two, 1971, actually, and ran up until 2014, off and on. These are K-Class cars. So this one would have had a 660cc... Uh, three cylinder of all things and making around 50 horsepower unless you got the optional turbocharger which would maybe make around 60 horsepower somewhere in that ballpark uh, the diva is a, a sportier aerodynamic styled slash aluminum wheel trim level those are the differences over the normal Honda life so you'll see these both of these images have aluminum mag wheels there Whereas I guess the stock one just has stamped steel wheels with uh, hubcaps or something like that. There was actually an optional four-wheel drive system available. So since I didn't have the packaging, I did a search, and this is what it would have come in, a box. And it has this other car called the Honda Vamos Lowdown. So if I ever see one of those, I'll probably have to pick that up as well. I like all these K-Class vehicles. This is a crazy gold one. I don't know if this is probably like a chase car. Because I don't see it on this main photo here. Alright, well anyways, let's take a look at this casting here. It's a nice metallic purple. It's a really dark purple though as well. This is a really bright photo booth, but it still looks pretty dark. Unfortunately, this thing's pretty old. Yeah, so it's got this, uh, you know, paint rash and what looks like a stain. It's like a diagonal stain right there. Strange. Alright, well, let's go to the front here. We have, a. Uh, this feels like plastic. Same here. So maybe this is like a tongue and groove. Like this plastic might be part of this base. In fact, this base is weird because I don't see any screws. But this is a tab. So yeah, this probably tabs in the back and the front maybe. And just the plastic flexes to get it in and out. You'll see it actually has treaded tires. These are rubbery tires, so that's pretty nice. And they look proportional to something with only 660 cc's. All right, back to the front. So the Honda badge there looks pretty good. And then the headlights are clear plastic, but also has a little orange turn marker indication and you know molded in detail, so it looks like a light bucket back there. So very nicely done. Going to the side here, we have these round kind of door handles and the fuel filler panel gap there. Uh, the wheels here, these mag wheels, it has four lug nuts and are these passing air? Yeah, look at that. There's actually air passing between those spoke holes, so that's good. There's black for the window trimming there. There's even silver on the uh, mirrors, so that's pretty good. And then we have the nice clear taillights with some indication again of some like LED dimples or something and this clear backup section. The Diva's printed nice. It's nice to have something on the license plate again. This is Life Diva, Honda, a raised uh, wiper blade here and it looks like it's painted black. Maybe it's not. I don't know. It's so dark. Is this window opaque? Yeah, that's weird. This actually is in a transparent window so this is all opaque black which makes me think this whole back panel is one separate piece. I think this is all right here is one piece of plastic just nicely painted or whatnot, or clear. Maybe it was all originally red clear plastic and they painted this purple and black on there. But it looks like there's a break here, a seam. Also sounds like plastic. Okay, so a little black paint here. Uh, I'm just... That's really nicely done. I'm quite uh, impressed. Okay, so no fuel filler on this side. Ooh, this tire's a bit gouged up. Maybe I could spin rotate it. I wonder, wonder if it looks the same on the other side. Let's see what the wheels look like from this brand. So it's a typical, you know, like a... I don't know how to describe that. But I guess it'd be tongue and groove. This is the tongue and inside this tire is a groove. And it looks like this side might be nicer. So I'll flip it on, put it on backwards and see what happens. The thing I really wish I put those on the bottom of this model was the year of copyright so I could get an idea how old it is because 
Well, this tire is pliable. It's, uh, I wouldn't call it soft rubber. I feel like it might be hardening, but without knowing the age of the thing, it's really hard to know if it's a good condition or not. Okay, well, I think I probably made it worse. I'll mess with that later. Okay, let's take a look at some other model. Well, you know, the interior, I guess we'll give it a shot. It's kind of just, you know, pink and black. It's hard to see without a flashlight. So, like, how many of you guys take a flashlight when you're looking at your models? I imagine not many people do this. I don't. I only do this in these reviews. So, anyways, it's also, the rear windows look cloudy. The front is clearer. I don't know if it's like... Oh, well, yeah, they're tinted. Didn't even notice that before. So they went through the trouble of tinting the rear windows, which is actually accurate to the real car, so that's pretty impressive. All right, now let us look at some other models to compare it to. I've started to gather quite a collection of K-Class cars here. All right, so by the same brand... Toyosha, I have a Suzuki Wagon R, and I also have a Daihatsu Tanto Custom. From a different brand called Aoshima, they have this plastic one called a Suzuki Hustler. So this is an all plastic model, but still really good details. I rather like it. And also by Aoshima is this is. Subaru Sambar pickup truck, which I think is a K-Class truck. I, I'm i gonna guess maybe K-Class trucks might have different dimensions than K-Class cars. These three cars should all be similar in their dimensions because they're trying to max out the allowed dimensions set by the Japanese government. Uh, the mirrors are not letting me align them properly. The question is if I put this truck next to it yeah, actually, that truck looks similar in size, too. Sorry, hold on. I'm going to get all these. Uh, I feel like that sandbar pickup is longer. Hmm. Not sure. But let me pull out a, just a normal type of car. This is an Integra Type R. So an Integra Type R isn't necessarily a large vehicle, by Western standards at least. But look how much bigger it is than these K-Class vehicles, right? So... Alright. So for me, it's just always fun to you know, see new vehicles that I've never seen before. And I do that by collecting these models. Uh, you know, if you're living in the, the U.S. or the Western Hemisphere, it's highly probable you've never seen this car either, right? It wouldn't meet the uh, crash standards. You know, if you put this on a freeway and get this thing gets into an accident, you're probably going to be dead. But in tight, congested city streets of Tokyo, that's why they allow these cars to exist. They're just never going to go very fast. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you the next time I get another K-Class vehicle in.